Well, good morning everybody, and welcome to Loch Morlick. And what a beautiful start to the day. Now I woke up this morning and after having two adventurous days in the mountains I decided to take it easy and just explore Aviemore and see what I could find. Now I've come to Loch Morlick this morning and already I found a nice little composition but the lights are already changed but luckily I already took the picture. I'll go over now and show you what I've got. And as you can see I've already got my tripod set up and I found this lovely little composition. These rocks here just leading out over to the mountains. Now luckily, the light was just breaking through and it cast this really lovely purple glow. So I've took a couple of exposures. I took one that focused on these rocks, a second that focused on the back rocks, and then one on the skyline. And what I will do is I'll blend those together and hopefully I'll come out with a really nice image. Now I was really happy with this image. The water was calm, the sky was beautiful, and it just represented a nice, still, calm morning. And it was the perfect picture to start the day. Now it's looking like it might be a bit of an overcast day today. I was hoping that the light might be a little bit more this morning. So but on the back here, we are getting a bit of a clearing. So I'm gonna go and search basically around where these rocks are and see if I can find any compositions. I'm quite happy with the first image. Well, I think I am. It looks quite interesting. So I'm hoping that I might have already got a successful image, <laughs> which will be the first successful image of my Scottish trip so far. But I'm just gonna scout around basically and just spend my morning looking for little compositions around Loch, Lake, uh, Loch Morlick. It's, uh, it's a really, really beautiful place, but there are a few people parked up here. So I'll try not be disturbed and I'll try not to disturb anybody else. But yeah, I'll go and see what I can find. Now this image is not as strong as the first one, but I was still happy with it. Compositionally, it's relatively balanced and the moody sky made it feel quite mysterious. I'm finally getting some really good light. So I've just found another little composition. Just over there, I've gone for a landscape shot of all these rocks, just overlooking the mountains here, but just now we're getting this beautiful light. It's just, turning the clouds ever so slightly purple and with the covering the top part of the mountains there it looks spectacular but I've just spotted these two rocks here and with those two mountains there in the background with that little bit of pink light I'm gonna try and set up a little composition here so I'm racing against the clock but so happy I came down here and it's so peaceful it's so nice I've just got one little van that's over there with the engine running so if you can hear that I do apologize but what a beautiful morning what a beautiful place so Let's see if we can get this composition set up. Let's see if we can get another picture. Now this is very similar to the first image I took. We have the two rocks being the foreground elements leading your eye into the background and the moody sky and the mountains in the background. Well, I couldn't quite get close enough to the rocks, so I had to take my shoes and socks off. Feel like ice cubes. It's so cold in there. But yeah, I had to set my tripod up a little bit closer because I put the 20mm lens on to get like a nice wide shot, but because it was so far back, it just wasn't close enough. So I opted to get in a little bit closer, set the tripod up and take the image. But the sky is now, the sky is now coming alive. It looks absolutely beautiful. And I'm so, oh, I'm just so happy I came down here. What a start to the day. I mean, look at this. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful morning in Aviemore. Now this image was absolutely 
epic. I had to underexpose the sky to bring out the detail and bring out the colours, so it is a little bit HDR, but I absolutely love it. It reminds me of something from Lord of the Rings, and I couldn't believe how spectacular the light was. What an absolutely beautiful morning here at Loch Morlick so good it's so beautiful and it's so still and quiet and peaceful and yeah i'm so happy with some of the images that i've already got i'm pretty chuffed with them so compositionally they're quite nice actually they're quite balanced which is something that i've struggled with in previous images and previous videos they've been a little bit off balance but i figured I, f I feel like these might be a little bit better so it's hard to say because you're looking at the back of your screen but fingers crossed once i get them in post and put them together they should look pretty good but I don't know when you wake up to scenes like this you just you, you can't complain regardless of whether you get good images or not the scenery here is just beautiful spectacular Well, this seems like a very nice spot to have a spot of lunch. So I decided to walk around the whole of Loch Morlick just to scout it out and see what I could find. So far I haven't found anything that's jumped out. There's been a couple of little scenes but because it's quite overcast in the sky, well it's midday now so the light's not exactly great so I don't have those purpley pink colours that I had this morning but it's still a really nice place to be and it's really peaceful and really quiet so yeah, great little spot. So I'll have a spot of lunch and then I'll continue back towards the car and I'll see what I can find on the way back. Mm. Now, as I was walking around the lock, I spotted this tree. This tree looks incredible. It's so gnarly and twisted and old and oh, it's like the perfect subject for my woodland photography. It's absolutely beautiful. And it's got so much character and history, but the conditions aren't perfect at the minute because obviously there's no mist or anything like that to give it that mysterious vibe or anything but I'm gonna have a go at photographing this because it's just too good to miss but there are so many people around at the minute so I'm having to do this quite quickly I just want to film and show you just why this tree looks so incredible The roots are twisted and broken and it's just got so much character. Such a shame that the conditions don't suit the subject. What a wonderful, wonderful tree. So I took two images, one with the 20mm and one with my 24 to 70 mil from two different angles. Like I said, the lighting wasn't that great, but it was such a cool character, such an interesting tree, so I had to get at least a couple of images.
every now and then you just gotta take five minutes and just admire the views and the scenery absolutely Well, what a fantastic day that has been. I've just finished my little loop of Loch Morlick and now I'm going to wrap the end of this video up. It's been an absolutely spectacular day. I got here this morning early enough to get the sunrise and I got some pretty decent light. I wasn't too sure if I'd get the decent light because when I first got here it was quite overcast but then I got a nice break in the clouds and the sun came over and I got that pink little bit of light which illuminated those rocks. So I'm pretty chuffed with that. I didn't find anything too interesting apart from the gnarly tree when I was walking around. But you know, if I had better conditions for that, I would have tried to get a really nice composition and taken a good picture of it. But I'm not gonna complain. It's been a lovely little afternoon. So I'm gonna wrap this video up. If you do enjoy the uh, video and the content, please hit the thumbs up. It does help the channel grow. And yeah, if you uh, wanna see more of my ramblings and shenanigans, then hit the uh, subscribe button and you'll get notified every time I put a new video out. So thanks for uh, watching the entire episode i hope it was uh entertaining enough and there was enough content there for you all so i will say adios and yeah i will catch you on the next one and yeah have a great week wherever you are in the world now i was supposed to set off first thing in the morning but when i woke up the sky was absolutely beautiful i quickly headed back to loch morlick and when i got there the sky looked like it was on fire the purple and pink colours were absolutely out of this world. It was such a tranquil and peaceful morning. The lake was almost still, so I managed to grab a couple of images that I'm really, really happy with. In fact, I'd go as far as to say these are the nicest images I've taken this year. Scotland will always be a special place for me. For some strange reason, I always feel like I'm home. The mountains, the landscape, the people, it has everything that you could ask for, especially as a landscape photographer and especially as an explorer. It feels like a forgotten world at times. And this trip reminded me that I need to spend more time up here.